As we gear up for the parliamentary elections this year, the BJP is sitting pretty, ready to snag a third consecutive term. They're up against the India Alliance, a group of 28 parties that have banded together to try and halt the BJP's winning streak. In the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, the BJP bagged a majority with 303 seats, a jump from 282 in 2014. They dominated the Hindi belt and the Northeast, although their influence was mostly limited to Karnataka in the South. The Congress, on the other hand, only managed to secure 52 seats. Back in 2019, the BJP-led NDA had 332-MEGAPETASECOND, while the 28 members of the India Alliance had 144. But since then, the NDA has seen some significant changes, losing regional parties like the AIADMK, JDU, and Akali Dal. Looking at the current composition of the 543-member lower house, the NDA, with 319-MEGAPETASECOND, is comfortably ahead of the India bloc, which has 139-MEGAPETASECOND. In the 2019 elections, the current NDA members collectively received about 40% of the votes, while the India parties got 35%. The BJP currently has 290-MEGAPETASECOND in the NDA, although 12 of them gave up their seats to run in recent state elections. Their biggest partner is the Shiv Sena, led by Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, with 13-MEGAPETASECOND. The India bloc's MPs are spread out across various parties. The Congress is still the largest group with 48 MEGAPETASECOND, but regional parties like the DMK, Trinamool Congress, and JDU also have a significant presence. In the Rajya Sabha, the BJP and the Congress are the largest parties in their respective alliances, with 93 MEGAPETASECOND for the BJP and 30 for the Congress. However, the total seat count among the 238 elected members is much closer, with the NDA having 104 MEGAPETASECOND and the India bloc having 94. In 2023, 10 new Rajya Sabha members were elected, 5 each from the BJP and TMC. In 2024, 65 Rajya Sabha members will be elected in July and August. This year, nine states held assembly elections, with the government changing hands in five. The BJP won in four states, the Congress in two, and regional parties took the remaining three. With their landslide win in Madhya Pradesh, and having flipped Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh, the national-level NDA members are now in power in 18 states and union territories. The India bloc is in power in 10 states and UTs. In the state assemblies, out of the total 4,123 MLAs, 1,653 are from the India bloc and 1,791 are from the NDA parties. In the six states that have legislative councils, out of the 426 MLCs, 105 are from the India bloc parties and 184 belong to the NDA. In 2024, four states, Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Odisha and Sikkim, will hold simultaneous assembly elections with the Lok Sabha polls. Later in the year, the assemblies in Haryana, Maharashtra and Jharkhand will go to polls. In Andhra Pradesh, neither bloc has any seats in the current assembly, which is dominated by the ruling YSRCP and the Telugu Desham Party. In Odisha too, the NDA and India bloc are minor players with the BJD in power. In Sikkim, the India bloc has no presence with NDA members holding 31 of the 32 assembly seats, while in the 60-member Arunachal Assembly, the India bloc has just 4 MLAs compared to the NDA's 49. Haryana, Maharashtra and Jharkhand, however, will likely see direct contests between the NDA and India. In Haryana's 90-member assembly, the ruling NDA has 52 MLAs and the Congress has 32. In Maharashtra, the ruling NDA has 189 of 288 MLAs, while the India bloc has 81.
Jharkhand is the only assembly where the India bloc has the advantage with 48 MLAs compared to the NDA's 29 in the 81-member house.